new team member Graham Mudd from Australia on Trek Factory Downhill. Got some questions for him. So Muddy, first up, is it true you used to be a gymnast? It's not. <laughs> I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> no idea. I was no. hoping you could prove something for us, do a little, like, some, some gymnastics. I don't know, people seem to know me for some little different gym <laughs> tricks, but they're more party tricks than actual gymnastic oh, okay. ability, I think. Yeah. Can we see one? Uh, yeah, for sure. What, what can we do? Kind of known for the, the pistol squat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll see that bit. Number two, what were you doing when you got the call from Dan Brown asking you to join the team? Oh man, <laughs> I was like, just got home from an afternoon shift from work, so it was like 12 p.m. Not 12 in the middle of the night, so yeah. I guess, yeah. Midnight. Midnight, and um, yeah, there was a message on my phone, give me a call in the morning, and I was a bit like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> like, could have gone two ways. It was oh God, were you thinking like, yeah, oh, yeah. God, anything was wrong. possible, so that, that night's sleep was a bit rough, and. First thing, time in the morning, got the call, and um, it was like the dream come true, hey? Like, everything a privateer dreams of, just yeah. all in one. And what, what was the job you were doing that you'd come back from? So I'm a fitter machinist by trade, and I was just, yeah, working down a coal mine, fixing crap, dirty machinery. And yeah. yeah, did you have to tell your boss that you were quitting then? How did that go? Yeah, he had a bit of an idea. Um, that I, you know, what I was into and what the goal was for this year, yeah. and but I don't know, it was almost like he wasn't expecting it. I, <laughs> I rang him and straight away after I spoke to Dan Brown, and I had to give him another week of work. Nothing could piss me off that week, so I was just chuffing <laughs> off to work and yeah, getting the job done and going home, and I was just stoked. Brilliant. Uh, number three, was it a difficult decision to say yes to the to join in the Athens? Definitely not. Hey, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that can relate to like to what I've done in the last few years and that, you know, you do the privateer thing and you battle for so long and it's just this like, there's this next level you're trying to creep into and I don't want to say I had it given to me but that's what it feels like, you know, you work for something for so long you get used to the old lifestyle and then all yeah. of a sudden it's like, sweet, let's suit <laughs> up and get into it finally, so nice. I'm excited to be here. And four, what's the difference between New South Wales and actual original Wales? I'm sure there's some sort of relation there yeah. but, I mean, New South Wales is in Australia. <laughs> it's on the other side of the world. It's good to, good to <laughs> you know that. Have you spent much time in Wales? No. So, Hardline last year. Yeah. First time in Wales, only time in Wales. So, a bit more time there this year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Get over there and get used to the mud and the, the roots and the steep hills, apparently. So, yeah. good. Similar quantity of sheep in both? I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, can't remember seeing too many sheep there last time. But... Oh, in Wales? Yeah. Oh, it's renowned for it, mate. They're everywhere. It was just bloody Air Force planes flying everywhere where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared the sheep off. Number five, did Affy ever T-bone you in a four cross race? I don't know. I can't remember us ever actually having a, um, a good old battle. Yeah. You know, I don't, I'm not sure if we ever even lined up in the gate in an actual <laughs> race side by side. I can't remember that far back, so. Did we ever race? Sure of it. I mean, maybe, was, maybe like in year. the first round before I got yeah, knocked out. Yeah, was it 2012? <laughs> no, 2011, the four cross days, that yeah. year I done. So, yeah, I remember you guys being around. Yeah, bit at the back somewhere. <laughs> they go to slow. Sure. Anyway. <laughs> Number six. Uh, thinking back to Red Bull Hardline, you just mentioned it. On a scale of one to ten, how scared were you? <laughs> I was petrified. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Oh man, like rocked up. I just, you know, you watched all the footage. I tried to prepare myself when I got the word that I was racing and I was in Whistler. Yeah. So I went out and like tried to like get as comfortable as I could on crab apple hits, just so I could rock <laughs> just up did the hard every line. Jump and, you like, could. Yeah, I had no idea what I was in for really. Like yeah. it was, they were big jumps, <laughs> and they were just. I mean, Athy made made it his job to make them as difficult as possible as well. So he's good at that. Isn't he? Yeah, he was a good guy. He, he towed us in on them. Yeah. Right, we survived. Looking forward to that again this year. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, that was the highlight of my, my year last year almost. You know, it was just so good to have such a serious sort of year racing and like trying to step up and then to rock up a hard line and have all those guys that have been battling with all year. Yeah. We just hung out and we sessioned the hill and had a bit of a race at the end of it. That was, cool. that was a good time. G was trying to get me to do it, wasn't he? So I haven't ridden a downhill bike for like oh, seven right, years. Hey. <laughs> Let the brakes go on point. <laughs> yeah, it'd be all right, would it? Yeah. Pump the shocks up. Okay, number seven. What serious one here? What are your goals for the season? I mean, well, I come eighth in Cairns last year. That was you know, 
my first and only top 10 so far. And I mean... And think about eight then. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> if I've done it once, I, I, I can't see why I can't do more top 10s again. And yeah. I mean, the Cairns is definitely a big, yeah, that's where I think I'm going to leave my mark this year for world champs. So yeah. it's sort of at the end of the season, hopefully I can, can build through the year and sort of work with the new team and step things up a lot because, um, yeah, I don't. I want to hang around here. I don't just want to be a, a one a one year wonder or something. Like that. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'd be good to um, be good to make something of this for sure. Yeah. Name one thing you've done on this Californian training camp that you've never done before. Uh, I've ridden the furthest I've ever ridden in one ride. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm pretty new on the on the road bike scene, so yeah. went out with you the other week and we we smashed out a bit over 60k. So yeah. I mean, got lycra in it. I wore lycra first time for the in first lycra, time. There yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah. So in the bunch on the road rides when I get home, I'm sure of it, yeah. <laughs> okay, number nine, is it true that your family originates from Newcastle in Northern England and they moved to Newcastle in Australia? Yeah, it is true. I mean... Did uh, they just don't want to change the address on the little stuff? Or? I think it's just how it ended up. I got the relatives there in Newcastle and it's a fair... between Newcastle and Berwick. And um, yeah, we've ended up in Newcastle in Australia. I don't know what... Go with it. Maybe it's just a great place. I yeah. do see similarities in Newcastle in the UK. So is that really? Yeah, it's just the vibe of the city. I think. I suppose. Older buildings. Very and... different climate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. One's got sideways rain. The other <laughs> one's got beautiful sun. Yeah, we've got some nice beaches in Australia, but in fact, not fancy swapping the beaches of Australia for. Uh... Not anytime but... soon, though. I think they go alright. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thanks a lot, mate. Yeah, thanks. Good to see you on the team. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That's Graham Mudd. Sweet. <laughs>